you sure this is gonna work, Emmett? Don't let the ramshackle nature of my laboratory fool you. If all goes according to plan, we'll soon be in possession of the most powerful rocket fuel known to man. That's great. Uh, how? Well, it's very simple. This crankshaft induces a powerful direct current into the electrolysis chamber, producing hydrogen, which must be periodically released into the primary distillation barrel. While tending to the hydrogen, we'll also need to regularly sprinkle these shredded protein flakes into this aquarium of tuber bacteria to generate the necessary nitrogen to catalyze the reaction. Cool. No, oh, hot! Extremely hot! The temperature of the reaction must be kept at a steady temperature of 623 degrees Kelvin by carefully pumping these bellows! Any questions? Uh... Emmett? Why is there a brace of drunkards gathering on our lawn? Sweet fancy Moses, it's my father! So? So, he doesn't know I'm engaging in acts of scientific exploration in here. He thinks this is where I go to pour through my law books. Oh. You tend to the reaction, I'll try to get rid of him! Tend to the... what? Can't we just start over after he's gone? It's too late! The reaction's already started! Don't worry, I'll try to help you out where I can. But... Emmett! Uh, coming, father! Father! Don't you father me, child! Don't you have a release valve on your mouth somewhere? If you know what called your mother and I, you can skip. Can you suddenly you are going to mumble? This isn't food for thought, Pop. It's gruel. Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. Don't you turn your back on me! Tall room full of lawyers trapped in a burning. Building a good start. If you know what called your mother and I, what did you do, Emmett? Who are you talking to in there? No, no one, Father. There is a flame inside me that cannot be quelled by your legalistic gobbledygook, father. This may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? If you know what called your mother and I, you can skip. Can you suddenly you are going to move? Excellent. Now twist the valve there. Great. We're about a quarter of the way home. Damn it! Get back here! Oops. <laughs> you are going to find out. Is it my <laughs> fault if I don't get a spark out of laws and statutes? I hope someday you have children and you will. You know who invented fire pop? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. My blood pressure. Can't you see this is eating me up inside? <laughs> You're going to find out when you get older. I have no idea what kind of pressure I'm under. Someday you have children and you will look You don't get to control my life just because you fed and clothed me for 17 years. You know my blood pressure. Ah, halfway there. Emmett! Keep up the good work. You go. Oh, maybe your burning passion, Father, but it is not mine. Pressure! You're a child. You don't know anything about pressure. You can I... Not being such a crank. <laughs> Your ancestor. Just pay.
pay attention to what I say. Damn it! I'm not through with you yet! I... What use is a microorganism for law? Don't burn your bridges so cavalierly, my son. Someday, you guy. I'm not just another one of your staffers who spins around you like a top. Are you trying to spin this argument around to my failings? Yes. You know who invented fire pop? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. The bronze have. I thought you were a scientist! Damn it! You're pressuring me to be something I'm not! What will it take to light a fire under your unappreciative hindquarters? Sunday! Maybe I should just get struck by lightning! Would that make you happy? Damn it! I don't know what's eating you, Father, but I wish it would go on a diet. What are they feeding you in that school of yours? You look like a skeleton. I did it. Come on. I had to come. Calm down. Calm down. If it weren't for scientists, men like you would still be divining the future with sheep's bladders and goat gizzards. Lawyers are nothing but a bunch of hot air. There, I said it. Why do you keep bellowing like that? Why don't you go feed the ducks, father? Your mother and I are shocked at your behavior, young man. Almost there. Uh, coming, father! Do I get a turn to talk, or is this going to be another monologue? Do you really want to vent our dirty laundry in public like this? How many times do I have to prove myself to you before I can shake your overbearing criticisms? I'm not just another one of your staffers who spins around you like a top. Don't you have a release valve on your mouth somewhere? There is a flame inside me that cannot be quelled by your legalistic gobbledygook, father. This isn't food for thought, Pop. It's gruel. Lawyers are nothing but overblown bags of gas. Do I get a turn to talk, or is this going to be another monologue? <laughs> Don't touch anything until I tell you to. I don't know what's eating you, Father, but I wish it would go on a diet. I have no idea what kind of pressure I'm under. What do you call a room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building? A good start! Name one great thing ever generated by a lawyer. Why don't you go feed the ducks, Father? Law may be your burning passion, Father, but it is not mine. This may come as a shock to you. Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. Damn it! Stop getting so hot under the collar, Pop. Stop being such a crank! The hotter you get, the more I know I'm right. Maybe I should just get struck by lightning. Would that make you happy? What did you do? Damn it! Can't you see this is eating me up inside? I strongly object to the current of this conversation, Father. Why must you always scatter a condescension my way? Just pay attention to what I say. Damn it! Why are you always bellowing at me? I thought you were a scientist! Damn it! 
Yeah, it. You don't like my performance at the courthouse, then fire me. I don't get to control my life just because you fed and clothed me for 17 years. Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? Wait, is it my fault if I don't get a spark out of laws and statutes? You know who invented fire pop? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. Pressuring me to be something I'm not. How many times do I have to prove myself to you before I can shake your overbearing criticisms? Oh, I feel that the feeds in my head. Galileo's rotations. Do you ever listen to yourself? I could. If only a mother had gone. If it weren't for scientists, men like you would still be divining the future with sheep's bladders and goat gizzards. Oh. Stop getting so hot under the collar, Pop. I, you are going to Should I honor your wishes? You treat me like common bacteria. No, it's not. Oh, I'm afraid we'll have to take this up later, Pop. My soup's about to boil over. What? This isn't over, young man. Whew. Are you okay? You and your dad sounded... It was an argument we should have had a long time ago. We... No! Oh. What? Eureka! Now all we gotta do is fuel up the old rocket power drill and you and, and I can- I can take it and go. But don't you wanna test it first? No time. The, uh, the, the last train for DC leaves in just a few minutes. All right. You've gotta get this baby to the U.S. Patent Office. Uh, exactly. So tell me, Sonny, when can I expect to hear back from the Patent Office? Oh, in about, I'd say... I, I can't. Huh? Emmett, I I'm not from the patent office. I don't understand. I, I, I lied to you, but I, I didn't want to. It was just, it was the only way I can get you to trust me. See, there's somebody who's in big trouble. Uh, someone very important to me, to, to both of us. I, I can't tell you who, but... I need to save him, tonight, and, and I need your invention to do it. I'll get it back to you, I, I promise. And, Emmett, you're gonna be a great inventor. Wait! Keep the throttle at about eight. Okay, Doc, I got the drill. Now let's get you out of here. Come on, start! not supposed to be... Doc! They're moving him to another facility for safekeeping! Oh! I better go get a quote from the police chief. Paddy wagon intercepted. Suspect slain. Then they're still after him. But how am I gonna rescue him now? Hmm. At least the rocket part came out of this in one piece. All right, 
I'm coming, Doc. We've got to get you out of here. What's that? I said you're still in danger. Never mind, never mind. Get me out of here and we'll talk later. Doc, I'll get you out. Be careful, buddy. I'll be back. I'll wait right here. Sure what that not sure what that What's he doing here? No oh good, the window shut. Throwing the hubcap at that would do any good. Gotta set up a distraction. Not sure what that. on the dashboard, but I can't reach him. You need a protraction of pertinence. What? A reach extender. 
I need a distraction. Leave it to me! Hey, hey driver! You're driving too fast! Fast! Watch how you take those curves! I object to your tone of voice! And I find this seat distinctly uncomfortable! Do you have a pillow I can sit on? Hey! I'm talking to you, driver! Don't ignore me! You! Thanks, Doc. I guess that's why they call you the street. How did you know that? I have my sources. Stand back, Doc! Eat lead, Sagan! Ow! Son of a bitch! Situation. Doc, the throttle. Why? Oh. What sorts of bizarre repercussions my younger self's invention of a flying bicycle will have on the timeline? Did you know that would happen? I had a suspicion. I never could keep those rockets from exploding. So, what do we do now? Now we get back to 1986 before our interactions with the past inevitably cascade into a calamitous future. Where'd you leave Einstein? Uh, Doc? He's not in the pound, is he? No, uh, but I think we've got bigger problems right now. Great Scott! What's happening? I don't know. We'll have to be careful not to run into ourselves. Hey, fellas. All right, McFly. Let's go see the boss. History says Tanner will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. I fear that nothing will save Hill Valley from descending into the fires of chaos and corruption. Nothing is over until Kid Tannen says it's over. 